Good morning. Today we will continue uh, the last part of solving equations. Uh, what if we have an example like this? 2x plus 8 equals 14 and we want to solve this equation. Um, here we have to get the value of x and to get the value of x we have to uh, move away its neighbors. What are the neighbors of x? We have here plus 8. So we will move 8 to the next we will start first with addition or subtraction. First, we start with addition or subtraction. Here we have plus 8, so we will move 8 to the next side with an inverse operation, which is subtraction. So we have 2x equal 14 minus 8. So 2x, 14 minus 8 will be 6. So we have 2x equal 6. Now, how to get the value of x? Here we have 2 multiplied by x. So the inverse operation of multiply is divide. So to get the value of x, we will have x equal to 6 divided 2. So x will be 3. So again, what we do to get the value of x, we move away its neighbor, which is 8. The sign of 8 is plus. So we will start with addition or subtraction. Here we have addition, so we'll move 8 to the next side with an inverse operation, which is minus. Next step, we have 2 multiplied by x, so it's the second step. Uh, multiplication, or if we have division, here we have multiplication, so the inverse operation will be division, and we get the value of x equal 3. The next example, we have third x minus 2 equal 1. What we need to do, we need, we need to solve the equation and get the value of x. So to get the value of x, we have to move away its neighbor, which is 2. And here the sign of 2 is subtraction. So we will move 2 to the next side with an inverse operation, which is addition. So I have third x equal 1. The inverse operation of subtraction will be addition. So I have 1 plus 2. So, third x will be equal 3. Now I have third multiplied by x. So, to get the value of x, we will move third to the next side with an inverse operation, which is divide. So, x will be 3 divide third. So, x will be 9. Now, let's answer some questions about find the value of here we have 3x plus 1 equal 19. To get the value of x, I should move away its neighbor. Here we have plus 1, so it will move to the other side with an inverse operation, which is minus. So I will have 3x equal 19. Now, plus or minus 1? No, it will be minus 1. So 3x will be 19 minus 1 equals 18. Now, to get the value of x, 3 is multiplied by x, so the inverse operation will be divide. So, I have now x equals 18 divide 3. So, x will be 6. Next question, 2y minus 4 equals 6. We want to know the value of y. To get the value of y, we have to get, move away its neighbor, which is minus 4. To move 4 to the next side, it will be with an inverse operation, which is plus. So we will have 2y equal 6 plus 4. So 2y will equal 10. Now to get the value of y, we have 2 multiplied by y, so its inverse operation will be divide. So we have to make 10 divide by 2. So y will be Five. Next one, z divided 2 equal 8. But now we, we have to get the value of quarter z. To get the value of quarter z, we have first to get the value of z. So we have z divided 2 equals 8. So we will move 8 to the next side with an inverse operation. Inverse operation of divide will be times. So z equal 8 times 2. So z will be 16. 
I didn't here need the value of z. I need the value of quarter z. So quarter z, which means quarter multiplied by the value of z, which is 16. Quarter multiplied by 16 will be equal 4. So quarter z will be 4. Next one. 3x equal 12. I need the value of half x, not the value of x, value of half x. To get the value of half x, I should get first the value of x. So I have 3x equal 12. To get the value of x, which is multiplied by 3, we will move it to the next side with an inverse operation, which is divide. So x will be 12 divided by 3. x will be 4. I didn't need the value of x. I need the value of half x, which means half multiplied by the value of x, which is 4. And half multiplied by 4 will be equal to 2. So half x will be 2. Last question. We have 6y equal 18. We need the value of 5y. So to get the value of 5y, I should get first the value of y. So 6y equals 18. So we have 6 multiplied by y, so we will move it to the next side with an inverse operation, which is divide. So y will be equal 18 divide 6. y will be equal to 3. I didn't need the value of y, I need the value of 5y. So 5y means 5 multiplied by the value of y, which is 3. So the result will be 15.